I looked out just before I started to play and the person who was running the camera held up his hand and said, okay, in five, four, three. And I just started going. My name is Lori Berkner, and I'm a musician, author, and performer who makes things for kids. And my Audible originals are Lori Berkner's Song and Story Kitchen, season one and season two. Song and Story Kitchen is um, a series of chapters where I am in the kitchen with my friend Thelonious Pig, and we make a recipe together. And while that happens, something comes up that makes me think of a story that takes place in the magical land of Juniper Fields. We travel there, learn a life lesson while we're there through the characters in my stories and hear songs along the way. Then we come back to the kitchen, finish our recipe, and hopefully have resolved whatever the issue was and get to eat what we made that day. I moved to New York City from New Jersey, started playing in cafes, in rock bands, um, one was my own called Red Onion, which was my own original music. I was in some friends' bands. I then moved to an all-female cover band called Lois Lane. I was doing that, actually, when I started performing at kids' birthday parties. I had already started as a music specialist in preschools. I just remember playing at 3 in the morning in bars and then getting up a few hours later after I went home and slept and showered and then showing up at a birthday party. And kids and families would be yelling my songs, Victor Vito, buzz, buzz, and they were happy and having fun. And um, I just realized that I really loved doing that even more than all of the stuff I was doing at night. So I decided to continue to follow that. I turned that into my real day job. So the first real gig that I actually remember performing at for kids was in the basement of a synagogue. All the families uh, and the kids came from that school and I performed just by myself standing in front of a microphone on the floor and all the kids and parents were on the floor in front of me, maybe 500 of them. I felt a little bit terrified, but it was, it was fun. And then I got asked to do more and more of those and eventually I actually got a chance to perform in the plaza on the Today Show. And now I'm standing out here at five in the morning with people holding up signs and thinking about all the people in front of me, but also the millions of people who are actually watching me at home and what am I doing here? I don't understand why did they even ask like a kids performer to come and do this. And it was beautifully joyous and easy and fun and I realized, oh my God, I've now been doing this like hundreds and hundreds of times and this is what I feel like I'm meant to do. I'm not sure if I know an exact moment when I realized it was something I could do for a living. After I had done things like played at the White House, played at Carnegie Hall, um, had my run with Jack's Big Music Show, been on the Today Show a bunch of times, Good Morning America, like doing all these sort of bigger high profile things and um, had like a platinum selling DVD. And I felt like five, seven years ago thinking, you know, if I don't ever do anything else with music, I feel like I've, I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> like I did enough and I feel proud of what I've done and happy about it. And if people just stop deciding to listen to my music, I would be okay. Ever since I started writing songs where I had characters in them, I imagined those characters having lives. And the idea for Song and Story Kitchen, a lot of it was based in bringing those characters to life and um, creating stories around them and using my songs almost like a little mini musical. Incorporating life lessons into the stories that I wrote for Song and Story Kitchen feels and felt important to me, partly because I think I write a lot of my songs and the stories imagining what I would have liked to listen to, but also what I wish I had known earlier in my life. I had actually 
actually originally imagined it as a, a visual, a television series, but when I realized I had the opportunity to make it audio, that really excited me because that's what I feel like I do best, and it's also something that I love. I like that information coming in through my ears and using my imagination, so uh, that was a really exciting idea to me. My name is Lori Berkner, and my Audible originals are Lori Berkner's Song and Story Kitchen, season one and season two.